I'm Andy and my nickname on HWBot is Bench Pros and I'm from Germany and yeah, that's all. No? Team? Ah, team. Uh, my team is uh, Hardware Lux. Uh, it's a big German um, hardware review site and I invented the team back in 2007 or something. And, um, my job is um, I'm an electrician engineer, so I studied electrician uh, stuff. And yeah, now I'm an ASIC designer, so it means uh, application specific um, integrated circuit. So my job is really close to my hobby. So doing some digital design on some silicon chips. And, and I start overclocking maybe around back in 2006 or something. And yeah, the reason was that I was playing really hard Counter Strike at this time. And yeah, other guys uh, had more frames uh, during gaming, and I want to push my system to yeah, increase the frame rates to have a better, a better aiming and stuff. And yeah, that's why I started overclocking. And at some point, not only the gaming was the reason to push further, even to know what this what the system can do. So typical background. I think many of the overclockers uh, start by with gaming and then want to see the frame rates going higher. Um, yeah, my best moment in my overclocking career so far was um, maybe in 2010, in January, there was an overclocking summit in, in Taipei and this was the first time I went to Taipei and MSI invited me to collect some new ideas for um, a new overclocking motherboard. It was great to be first time here and yeah, also 2011 um, MOA, fourth place was worldwide was great. And of course last year uh, AOC champion together with Dan Cobb was also a big moment and some several nice world records we did. Yeah, to um, compare the, the overclocker scene today is, yeah, it's quite different compared to five years ago. It's getting more and more competitive. So it's you really push too hard and doing some backup stuff and yeah, some dirty talk around our back. It's not, uh, I don't like it that much. So back in the days it was overclocking was just for fun and yeah, pushing the system and also, uh, always uploading the best score. Uh, just yeah, world records are there to be beaten. But uh, yeah, today you would just upload the the nearest course, the nearest score to the actual uh, current world record, and then wait until it's someone beat your score and then upload your backups. I don't like it, so it's more, much more competitive these days. Yeah, in the next five years, I think um, I see it in Germany. So the the amount of overclockers, um, especially doing extreme overclocking on LN2, it's yeah going down. So there are not many. Uh, people doing this so when it comes to extreme overclocking I think more yeah the number of extreme overclockers will decrease but maybe the gaming or gaming and overclocking boards are getting more important because um, the yeah, some gamers all, always ask us which board they should choose so yeah maybe that could be in five years, no idea. My message to young overclockers. Yeah, just try on air cooling and water cooling and try to learn the system and try to push. And then maybe get in touch with some more pro professional overclockers and organizing some session together and to learn more and more. And yeah, then when you first meet up with the extreme overclocking, the step to dryers or uh, LN2 cooling is not that far. So they can learn a lot from guys doing extreme overclocking. And yeah, so that's yeah my advice to to get to get in touch with a more advanced uh, overclocker and to learn from them and not learning uh, all stuff alone. It will take much longer. Yeah, Taipei is a quite nice city. It's really hot. <laughs> Last time I've been here is what uh, November and, and January, so it's the first time Computex for me. 
so it's really hot and but yeah I like the people I like it to be yeah not at not at home is it's not right but here I can stay focused not uh, yeah no social life <laughs> so benching all day long it's it's quite nice and yeah and on Wednesday I will have some sightseeing and to learn the city a little bit more and we will see what's happening.